Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. Well, I'm going to go over the threshold list over here. And this is an interesting list. It has to do with uh, short sales and stocks. And according to regulation, if you're going to sell short a stock, first you must locate it and borrow it from somebody um, before you could sell it short. Unless you're a market maker, then you have a couple days to locate it um, to meet your market making obligations. And the threshold is something on the clearing clearing side or the broker dealer side. If they fail to deliver the the short for five consecutive days, it goes on a threshold list. And if it uh, if they fail to deliver for thirteen consecutive days, they must buy back the stock. So according to Reg Show um, regulations, you know once you're on the threshold list, you fail to deliver for a certain certain amount of days you have to buy back the stock or your customers will have to buy back the stock. Um, and what this does is let you see the entire list that's on the threshold um, down here. Typically, it's it's stocks with um, low floats or low market cap stocks. And once because they're, they'll be harder to borrow, not as much stock out there. And there's two ways to look at it. One way is perhaps there's smart money out there shorting these stocks for for a reason um, because you know they've done their research and it looks like that they believe that the stock will will be lower in the future and it's shorted pretty heavily to make it on that short list and another way to look at it is these are potential short squeeze since they're already on a threshold list and if you cannot deliver these stocks you know or find a locate find somebody to borrow from from then what will happen is there you're going to be forced to go out there and buy it on the market you know at the open once you once you fail to deliver for 13 consecutive days they're going to be they're going to get a reg show notification that you have to buy your short back in so this over here um we see a list so far of all the all the stocks that made the threshold and here we have a graph kind of moving up and down for the amount of stocks so once when the market starts to get a little bit bearish you're going to see these actually spike up so more and more stocks will make the short threshold list um we also have some statistics here showing you uh shares outstanding uh price market cap um the one week change for today and one week one month change and six month change the days t consecutively so far that have been making the short list the threshold list sorry um how many consecutive days it's been on the threshold list uh in a month the percentage of days in the last month it's been on the threshold list and in the last six months the percentage of days it's been on the threshold list so it kind of gives you like a summary statistic for longer term history um and that's and that's just one thing to look at um you know like i said people look at it both ways one it's potentially a short squeeze candidate another um that there are, there are smart money out there that think that potentially this stock is going to decline in the in the future uh thanks thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video